We leave you today with a tail, actually hundreds of tails, all wagging their way through the big dog show down at the convention center the next few days. Here's a look at the dog eat dog competition. It's a good boy. This is his first show. Yeah, this is his first show. 190 on the table, please. I'm going to bed to get to the rings. We've got to go in right after this dog. And it is a tight competition. These people work day in and day out with their dogs. They put in an average of a half hour to an hour and a half every day, precision training their dog, working with them literally as a team. Present them in the best way that, that you can. You know, you try to hide their faults and, you know, bring out their best points like they have a nice front, face them more towards the judge, then stack them up to where you can't see their rear. When you're moving with the dog, it should be very much teamwork. It should be dog and handler moving almost as a dance team. That's the way I like to think about it. The more you work with your dog, the closer you get to them. The closer you get to them, the more responsive they are to you. And from there, you've got just a better citizen all the way around. Yes, it's competitive, and yes, you want to do well. And you're going to do well if you've worked hard with your dog. But if you don't do well, somebody's there to pat you on the shoulder or give you a hug and you know, say, gee, I'm sorry, you'll do better next time. Everyone a contender for Top Dog.